you may be asked another scenario based question again related to time intelligence let's say you have a day table covering january 2020 to december 2022 in this table an additional column is introduced using the date add function with a subtraction of one year now consider a specific row where the date column value is the 1st of january 2020 what date will be presented in this row as a result of the calculation or in this new calculated column what date will you get first remember that the date add function requires a continuous sequence of dates because there are no dates available before january 2020 it cannot display any dates before that even if you subtract one day you will not get any value i'll demonstrate this with an example in power bi desktop let's navigate to my date table which is different but starts from 2018 i'll adjust it to cover 2020 to 2022 at this point we are at the same level of scenario as the question in which it was asked i'll add an additional column and call it new date which will be calculated using the date add function new date equals date add date of date minus 1 year to determine what we are getting i'll sort the dates ascending since the date add function requires a continuous sequence of dates i will not have any data for the entire first year until the 31st of december 2020 for the new column you will not be able to see any dates that are not present on the calendar remember this you might be asked for an alternative approach and when you encounter such a situation you can refer to my video on the same topic to find your answer on how to get the result when subtracting one year in this case you will obtain a blank result the date add function requires a continuous sequence of dates since there are no dates before january 1st 2020 the expected date value of january 1st 2019 cannot be achieved this is due to the lack of a continuous date sequence therefore we will receive a blank value 